Hey you guys, so today's video is actually going to be my very first haul video. So because of quarantine, I have been shopping a lot, which I really need to stop, but um, I did end up buying a lot of things, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe below to see all the new exciting videos that are about to come your way. So yeah, let's get started. So I actually just got this shirt yesterday. It was a shirt from H&M for only $8. I got it in store. It's like a nice work shirt. Um, like I said, pretty good quality for just eight bucks. I think it's supposed to be like a loosey goosey type of shirt because this is extra extra small but this is gonna be kind of loose on me. So I actually didn't buy that many clothes. I mean I did buy, I bought a lot of clothes um, but a lot of them are from Shein so I think I'm gonna do a separate haul with just those things. So if you want to see just the clothes haul then subscribe and stay tuned. But yeah in this haul it's pretty much only like a couple things that I got. Um, this was a dress from Forever 21 for $13. It's this like sweetheart black super simple skater dress and again $13 is not bad at all. I actually wore this on the day of my birthday and I will include some pictures from Instagram of me wearing this and how I styled it. And the last two um, items of clothing are actually these Fabletics leggings. So this one is just black leggings. You guys, like I did not know what all the hype was about. Now I know what all the hype is about. They're actually so nice. Like Fabletics leggings, they give you such great shape and I really like them. Uh, these nude pink ones and the reason why I got these Fabletics leggings to begin with are because they have like these zippers and these pockets and I really wanted more of those for like workout and just putting stuff in your pockets um but yeah i guess we'll do shoes next because that kind of goes with clothes so <laughs> reaching back here um so i saw these again from h m these shoes um i already have the black pair of these shoes and i love them for work and they are only well it says 17.99 but i'm pretty sure i got it for like 12 or 13 bucks they're these nude work shoes they're just like ballet flats but i really like the design they are so comfortable i am a size 8 and i am a size 8 in h and m so they're pretty true to size but yeah i'm really glad i found those in a different color because i got them in black last fall and i ended up loving them i actually got this uh as a birthday gift but I still thought it would be fun to include it in the haul. It's the Tory Burch Ballet Flats. And let me show you guys the color I got because it is so beautiful. It is this like matte nude on nude. So usually like a lot of their flats will have one color like black and then gold buckle or black and then like a white buckle or like different combinations. But this one I love so much. So the person who got this for me knows my taste because i just love this like nude on nude look i think it's so classy again for work it will go with so 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 many different outfits you know what's crazy now that i just opened the box they like smell new it smells like a new car like new rubber i don't think this is rubber whatever plastic i don't know what these are but it smells new Okay, so that was it for the shoes, but the next thing is actually a accessory bag item thing, um, which I've already started using, so there's stuff in here, but it is this bag from Aldo, and again, I got it in person, but they were having this huge sale, so I got it for like $33, like with tax and stuff, and usually their bags will run from like 40 to 50 bucks. So I think it was a pretty good deal. Um, this chain part can be long or short. So I really like that. And then you open it, it has this like snake skin nude um, with gray detailing. And I like it because again, it goes with so many different things. It's a little like rotating lever thing and then it opens up. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. It has a little zipper in there, a lot of space here, and it has a little pocket here. Um, for anything that you might want to put in it. So yeah, I really like this bag. Okay, so next up is Bath and Body Work. It is this Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Body Cream. So this is a set and I actually started loving this line and I think it's discontinued now, but I actually started loving this line with the face mask, the Hyaluronic Acid face mask. Like yeah, see, even in spreading it, like the rest of their lotions are kind of creamy. This definitely feels more like water-based and gel like which i really like 
Next up is again something that I got because of the sale on it, but I got this Hula mini benefit bronzer and I know like everybody has it. It's a beauty staple. So I'm going to try to use this in some of my next makeup looks and let you guys know what I think of it. This was like a dollar or two, but it was this shine, 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 wet look lip gloss from Essence. Ooh, guys, it smells really good. But yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty basic, which I like because I don't really see a reason to pay so, so much for glosses and it smells really nice. Um, okay, next up I got, oh, this is another dollar store item actually. Um, I got this eyeshadow brush. It's one of those like contour brushes, but I actually bought it not for eyeshadow. I'm going to try nose contour with this. It actually feels like pretty decent quality. It's not like super light. And oh, it's so soft, you guys. It's so soft. But yeah, I got this for like some easy nose contour. So I'm going to use this and let you guys know what I think of it. All right, so next up I got, again, it was on sale. I got this Morphe X Jeffree Star um, sponge. So I haven't tried the Morphe sponges before, but it was on sale on Ulta. So check it out. Maybe they still have it on sale. Um, but I'm going to try this out and let you guys know what I think of them. Oh my gosh, it's almost the end of the haul. I also got the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. And again, I already have this. This was just something that I needed to replenish. Highly recommend, very refreshing, and it does help to last long, especially if you layer it between your layers of makeup. Where did I get this? Oh, this was also from Ulta. I thought it was Dollar Store for a second, but it wasn't. I got this e.l.f. Um, what is this? Small stippling brush. And I just wanted to, again, get it for some easy blending for contour. It looked pretty good for the price and the packaging. All right, next up, we have some more tools. So let me get this open. So this was actually from Amazon, and I'll try to link it below. It's actually a makeup brushes set. And again, it was for pretty decent of a price when I looked online. Eh, meh. Oh, I got it. Okay. It was for a pretty decent price online for so many brushes, which is why I got it. And it's not branded, but I still wanted to see what they would be like. Like, look how many are in there. So, oh, I dropped one. Dang it. These brushes look pretty good quality. Um, Just from feeling them. They're not the softest thing in the world, but they're definitely soft and um will do the job from what I can tell. But yeah, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this mini haul. It was my very first haul, but I did buy a bunch of things that I just wanted to share with you guys. I also have a separate haul coming later, hopefully this month, that you should stay tuned for and subscribe below for. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye! Just because it is like... Oh, man.